Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Corinne's Crafts. I hope everyone is well today. What a lovely day and I hope you're having fun making lots and lots of crafty projects. Now this one we're going to make today nice and quick and simple. It's all about blending the background, stamping the um, music on and putting the die cut on. Now as you'll see when I make the tutorial, we can change that to a floral background, a written text. That could be a flower die cut. I just wanted to show you, you don't need a lot of colours. Sometimes less is more. I'm going to try and do a few little projects for you in... Some of them are going to be quick, some are going to be a little bit more complex, but just sort of keeping the colours really simple, almost like a monochrome series. So we're just going to have a couple of colours with that black and see how you like that. I hope you enjoy this. Please click on the links that I put below in the description because they all help my channel to go. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to share the makes that you make inspired by this. I thought I'd have a go at making something that you could all put together really really quickly and I thought I'd try and make something that would be both male and female. So I've got this stamp here that has a music script. I don't know if you can see that. You'll see it. Oh I've got the cover here. There we go. It's just there so you can see that what that is. If I put it over the white there you go you can see it a little bit better. I've also got a um, music die i'm sure everybody's got lots of different ones now i wanted a background so i found this sort of bubble effect stencil and that's what we're going to use and we're going to put them all together and see what we can create so let's have a go this is going to be a smaller project it's going to be nice and quick to put together so it shouldn't take too long for you to watch so i've got my piece of card and i'm going to pop my stencil over the top of that um you can go off the edge if you want um or you can and just keep moving it around or you can just have it just like this i think this will be all right now I'm actually going to try something a little bit different, actually. I might do it a different order. What we might do is we can stamp first. So I've got this. And then we can stencil around the outside. Do I want that? No, I don't. I think I want the stenciling all over. Right, back to plan one. We are going to stencil all over. We're going to stencil all over. I love stencils. I love the effect. So I've got my blending brush and I've got sand, um, Sandstorm. This is a water reactive ink. So it's nice and easy to do. You could use a distress ink or anything like that. There must be a little bit of something on there. And I'm just going to go all the way around this. I'm actually going to go a little bit more around the outside, I think. And then just do it lighter in the middle. So I'm going to just have a slight change. I love this because you can just really mix it and match again if you use a blending brush like i'm doing here you can see how easy it is to control the ink going on you can really get to now i've just done bubbles you can use absolutely anything at this point i wanted diamonds but i didn't have a diamond stencil i'm gonna have to look around see if i can find a nice sort of diamond motif stencil couldn't find one typical now I can see it's quite heavy at the back. It looks quite light in the middle, but I bet you when we go over it, when I take the stencil off rather, it'll show up quite nicely. Let's start to peel it back. I'm going to hold it there just in case. Look at that. When you put it on, you don't see much, but when you peel it off, it looks amazing, doesn't it? I love that. Just anything to create a background. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, so you'll see how easy this is. Sometimes the quickest, simplest cards are the best. So I'm going to pop that onto there. Let's just hold that down for a minute. Then I'm going to get my stamp and I'm going to put my stamp in the middle. I always have to look at this. It's got the bits at the beginning, so I know that is that side and that's the right way up. Or what they call it, the little bit. It's got all the treble clefts and everything on that side. So I know that's the right way. Up. And I'm going to put that into the middle. So as I went with Sandstorm, what I thought I might do is go seal brown over the top. But again, it might look nice in black because I'm going to do black. Um, but you might want to just, just do it however you want. So I'm just going over. And I'm not going too heavy. I almost want a distress look. You could almost take off some of the ink if you wanted to so i'm going to take that over there i'm going to get my pressure tool and i'm going to just pop that over now that's just a tad too much distress so i'm just going to take this again and get a little bit more ink just put that over there 
I, this is such a quick card to put together. I'll tell you how big that piece of card is in a minute when I take it out of the stamping press. So I think that might do because I really don't want to. Oh, that's plenty. I don't want any more than that. Look at that. Isn't that a lovely background? I did think about using a piece of um, music background paper and I'm going to be doing that sometime and then stamping over the top, but I've changed my mind. So this is, just to remind myself, because I cut it, it's just on five inches square. So I've got a piece of scrap black card. I've got my music die. It's going to cut out as a solid piece. That's going to go through my die cutting machine, just like that, all my plates. So I've got all my plates there. Hold that down. I'm going to pop that through my die cutting machine. And this is what it produces. Oops, there we go. Pop that. And I'm just going to pop that in the centre. Now, I'm just going to go really, really simple. And I'm just going to get a scrap of bit of paper. Oh, look at that. That's from a previous project. I just retrieved it out of the bin when I was getting sorted. Nothing's wasted. I could have used that for another project, but I've got lots of bits lots and lots of bits i can't believe how many bits i'm been creating i'm just absolutely loving this and thank you so much for everybody that's tuning in and um watching these tutorials thank you your support means the world especially when you're clicking on the links because that's what's enabling me to carry on so i'm popping that onto here now you could i did think actually I was going to put that on with raised glue, but I haven't. I put it flat, but that's fine. That's fine. I just forgot what I was going to do. So I've got a card. So I just pre-made card that's coming out exactly yeah, six by six. I think that got, I took that out of an old um, monthly craft box. So that's where that came from. So I had lots of six by sixes. So sometimes it's quite nice to do slightly smaller cards. So this is one that would be able to go in an envelope. You know, because you know, sometimes I make them with lots of flowers and people say to me, how do you post them? Just so that, you know, I just pop them into boxes just so that um, people, you know, it's easy to post um, just like that. But you won't need to with this. So black on first. Now, this is just some paper from my Crate Craft days. I love this. It's like um, a waffle texture. Um, I had a few bits left over. I was like, yes, I can use this now. So I've just got that. Can you hear that? It's textured all the way through. If you've not got anything like that, I was just going to do some cream paper and I was just going to put it through an embossing folder. So you've got options. But I just love that. It's like a piece of burlap um, fabric, isn't it? So that looks lovely. Just make sure I've got no glue seeping out there. Then I've got some black, a black layer, but I'm just going to stick this one on to there first. So what I've done, eighth of an inch gaps there, and then there'll be an eighth of an, eighth of an inch gap between this white and the black. You'll see on here. So that's going to be one eighth of an inch. I do like those sort of slim um borders all the way around that just moved there we go let me just get rid of any glue that's sort of seeping out of there there we go that looks lovely doesn't it and that's good to go onto here so i've just got a few sticks to um foam pads lots of people ask me about my pokey tool i make sure i always post a link for that now i'm going to do it as a tent fold card because you know that's what i like to do so whilst i had an eighth of an inch between the white and the black an eighth of an inch between the burlap and the black i've got half an inch or even just over between those two so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a pair of tweezers i've just taken one of my pre um my sheets with my sentiments on. I've actually got some more of these coming because I'll just like them so much. And I've put it onto a little scrap of the burlap. Let's see if I can get the glue out of here. 3D glue, I find it so much easier when you've got little fiddly bits. And then that's just going to go across there. Nice and easy to make it straight because I've got the, the lines of the music. And then just because I can, a couple of gems. Now, I really don't need many gems i'm just going to pop them between the there put one up there and i think i might do one just let's come this way and there you go 
how quick and easy was that now if you've not got music and you don't music isn't the theme that you wanted to do then how about going in just with a floral die cut and put a floral background on the back and instead of having music i'm sure you've got a background stamp with text on or something like that really really easy to change how quick and easy i'm loving that